guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i'm filming a really fun video for those of you that enjoy the charity shopping videos i have come to the biggest charity shop i've ever been to it's a superstore so it's a cancer research uk store that is based in salford they've started introducing these superstores and they're on shopping complexes like there's a home bargains a um i think there's a there's like a pets at home um jd office outlet boots that kind of a shopping complex one of those massive units is a charity shop which is so exciting for me because i do find it really difficult sometimes to go in and amongst the smaller shops and find good stock so i'm hoping this is going to be a bit of a nicer experience a bit more spread out and hopefully it's some really good selection of things to shop so i'll do a little vlog footage in there so you can see what it's like in store and then i'll show you anything that i do end up picking up when i get back home give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of the charity shop videos i know a few of you really enjoyed my previous one that i did um, a couple of weeks ago or whenever it was that um was my first time after lockdown back in the charity shops and i picked up some fun finds so if you want to see that video and missed it i'll leave that linked below as well but in the meantime make sure you're set and comfy relaxed get yourselves a nice drink feet up and let's go shopping plus could i have parked any closer also look at that sign everything three pounds or less we will see i'm sure there's bound to be something in there that's more than three pounds we'll put that to the test Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door I 
can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all So I have been successful. I picked up a couple of bits from Cancer Research. En route home, I thought I would stop via a store that was passing the Bernardo store in Fallowfield. It's quite a big one as well. So hopefully we'll be able to maybe get a couple of other little bits to share with you within the haul at the end of this video. I'm gonna switch you around. Look how lucky I got with parking yet again. There's the entrance and I'm parked here. Well, let's head on in to see what Bernardo's has. I do find that Bernardo's usually has quite good bargains. And I've just seen a sign on the front. In the previous store, it was two books for a pound, and here it's four books for a pound. <laughs> If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told finally reunited with my sidekick and uh yeah i thought i would sit down and show you guys what i picked up before going and sitting outside and enjoying this lovely weather because it is glorious probably need to get out of a white dress as well because a white dress and a dog that's climbing all over me yep off the dress thank you that's been out in the muddy garden it's not a great combination i've got my new toy didn't we? which he's loving so hopefully he'll keep himself occupied with that right i didn't actually find anything in that oxfam no it wasn't oxfam it was a bernardo's reason why i say oxfam they have a huge double story superstore but it's in london so if only they brought them to manchester i'd be here straight there the first thing that i spotted and the first purchase is the biggest in size it is a beautiful bouquet of dried flowers which comes in the box packaged up brand new from moon pig there were two bunches so i had a good decide between the two i did have a little quick look online whilst i was in store and this set is currently on moon pig i think it's 35 pounds so there were um two of them at 15 pounds each honestly really nice to be able to reseal up and give someone because like i said it is on their website currently they um the lady was telling me in store that they actually came in and donated them so i don't know why it was just two random ones but either way i'm happy with that and then i also picked up a couple of their new goods section that they have which is obviously brand new stock they had some cleaning supplies so i picked up some microfiber cloths this is a pack of four at 99p and they come with little different colored gray trims so you can decide what you want each one to clean maybe a different room for each one and then i also picked up this jumbo floor one which is in gray at one pound 49 He's already trying to destroy the toy. Anyway, I picked up this one. One pound forty nine. I think the fact that it's like a jumbo size will come in really handy. I also saw this in the like cleaning session. There was only one of them though, so I don't know if it was donated or if there was only one left. It was 99p as well, and it's um Chinese. It's got a load of Chinese writing over it, but it does say a lazy rag on the top. I think it's like some form 
of cleaning roll, cleaning cloths. I'm guessing that is disposable. It feels like it might be a disposable cloth, but like a really super absorbent one. Anyway, 99p. I just thought I'd pick that up as well. And then they had two for one pound on the books. So I picked up two of the books. The first one is called The Girl Before. It is a fiction by JP Delaney. This author has also written The Perfect Wife, which I've already read and really enjoyed. So I'm thinking that I'll enjoy this one as well, hopefully anyway. I'm pretty sure this was like the original that was written before The Perfect Wife. I think The Perfect Wife has on it or the best-selling author of The Girl Before. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. Anyway, it says, Jane stumbles on the rental opportunity of a lifetime, the chance to live in an ultra-minimalist house designed by an enigma enigmatic architect. On condition she abides by a list of exacting rules, but when she discovers the previous tenant, Emma, met a mysterious death there, Jane starts to wonder if her own story will be a rerun of The Girl Before. I'm excited to give that a read. I love a good thriller. This is the second book that I went for. It was more of like a coffee book type book rather than an actual fiction. It's Mary's Household Tips and Tricks, Your Guide to Happiness in the Home. The back of this, the aesthetic, there's a couple of images in here that are very Pinterest worthy. And I just thought I would give it a read. I mean, for the sake of 50p, it's worth it just for a little flick through. Excuse me. He's burying it in my dress. <laughs> Get out. Get it. Woo. <laughs> so anyway, it's um, not just about baking, which I like um, about this book. Barney, please get off the white dress. You've been in the garden and you're all muddy. It's gonna have to go in the wash, isn't it? I'm just gonna admit defeat, I think. So yeah, lots of, ooh, folding tips on how to fold things. Uh, lots of ironing tips, washing tips, bedding, household administration, the hallway. Obviously a bit of a kitchen related things and just general organizational tips and tricks. Look how beautiful that kitchen is, love. So yeah, have a flick through that. And then I've got two items of clothing. This first one is actually men's. So I don't know how it's gonna fit, but it's a relaxed fit from H&M pair of linen trousers. They were only two pounds and it says there are 32 regular. Now, I actually don't know if I really like the style of the bottom of these, so I was thinking of maybe cutting and hemming them into linen shorts, because they do look, I guess with them being men's, like they've got a really long crotch, so they might fit quite high-waisted on me, and the drawstring waist allows you to cinch it in to, to fit, which is good, so we'll try that anyway. If not, there's nothing wrong, I don't think, with just redonating if they don't fit. So doing good, I'm giving money to charity and then I'm also redonating if they don't fit. And then last but not least, I picked up this from Pull and Bear. I love Pull and Bear, such a nice brand. It's like a umbrella company with Zara. So Pull and Bear, three pounds and it's kind of like a an overall style jumpsuit, like a really relaxed fit, linen, striped, in this kind of sage green colour, which I'm loving at the moment. Almost collotte style bottoms. I just thought this with a little white tee under it would be really cute for just pottering around the garden in. Um, it's a bit too warm today, but you know when it's like high teens and it's quite warm, but not too warm? Something like that would be really cute. So yeah, absolute bargain price points in there. I think it was only the furniture that ended up being more than three pounds. I did try and keep my eyes peeled for higher price points, but all the clothing seemed to be on rails of two pounds or three pounds. So worth a little rummage if you're local to the area. I wouldn't say it was incredible in terms of stock, but it was definitely worth a little browse and a bit of a stretch to the legs and handy that it's near a home bargains too. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. If you do want me to head back or do more videos like this, then give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and I hope to see you all next time. Bye guys.